Hey guys, welcome to Future Prospects. I am excited. I'm excited about all my shows, but I'm really excited about this because it's going to be talking about and introducing to you music. We have on the show a 10-year-old. Her name is July Jones, and she is going to be sharing with you her music, her passion, and embracing the platform also is her mother. So she's a music artist, she's a performer, she's a writer. I can't even get the words right, as I always don't do, but it doesn't really, really matter because I'm talking with passion. With no further ado, let's give it over to July and Siobhan, her mother. Hi, sweethearts. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Welcome. Now, did I say your name right, honey? I always have to yeah. correct myself. Okay. You did. All right. So, July... We met at an event. Not and Osaga. Sorry? Not Osaga. That's right, Not Osaga Resort, uh, Waking Your Inner Heroes. That's right, book launch. Love the way you give the feedback, just like that. And uh, Siobhan yes. went over, we got talking, and I said, my God, who's that girl? She can get down, she can do her thing. But the reason why I brought your story to here is who are you? I know a little bit about your mom, but I want you just to tell the viewers just a little bit of who you are. We've got another thing that's going to share. Okay. Well, that's okay. My name is July. Yes. July Love Jones. Mm -hmm. I'm 10 years old. I'm in grade five. Right. Um, I'm a dancer, artist, DJ, and rapper. Okay. But my most passion that I love to do is music because it mostly just helps me get all my bad moments and it puts me into good and it puts me into like good feelings and stuff and really like like when I was three years old, I actually learned how to sing before I talked. So wow, that's how I actually know I had a thing to music because I, because I sang a Rihanna song in my mom's basement. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, Shabbat? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Hun. <laughs> now before I before we roll a video of your little introduction, how she started, her name when we talked on the phone, Shabbat, mm -hmm. it's July, which I was spelling J U L. Why? Mm -hmm. But you spell it J U L. No, J A H L I. Oh, yeah. J A H. Yes. Yeah. So on paper it looks like Jolly. Okay. But it's Jolly. Jolly. Okay. So okay. why did you want to have it different than um, Jolly? Directly spelled J U L Y. I just wanted it, her to be different. I I wanted to name her something that I was comfortable yelling. <laughs> oh. <And> the best <laughs> month of the year is July, and that's when. Um, I had great experiences in the month of July that year, so okay. I wanted to extend it with it being her name. Okay, really cool name. Really, though, I like the way you spelled it. it was just re I had to ask. Yeah, because you know, there was a story behind it. Now I know when I was asking for information to put together this amazing show, um, you sent me a video of her first mm -hmm. little inter introductory. Or introducing herself to yes. the world. Mm -hmm. So can we run it, guys? And uh, there we go, guys. DJ Jones. My name is Delilah oh. Jones, and I'm an eight-year-old DJ. I just woke up one morning saying I want to be a DJ. I went up to my mom and said, hey, mom, can I be a DJ today? So then she got me all the equipment and stuff. The type of music that I like to play or listen to is R&B, old school and hip-hop. Those are the type of music that I like to listen to. Things that I like to do outside of DJing is like using my iPad, my laptop, playing basketball, and playing on my Wii. I would like to DJ everywhere like Paris, France, Miami, Montreal, and this. I want everybody to know who DJ Love Jones is. You know, you know Paris is in France, right? Huh? You know Paris is in France, right? Nope. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cool. That is so cool. Now, you had people in the video there. You had Barack Obama, you had mentors. Why were they so important to be shown with your video? Because um, those are the people that, like, those are like the black people that I mostly look up to, like big, like big, 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 big no, what's his name? Um, Nelson Mandela? No, no, no. Barack Obama? Big, Notorious B.I.G. No, Notorious B.I.G. Okay. Um, Aaliyah. Right. Um, Barack Obama. Right. Too. Like all the people that were on there are like all the black people that actually, like mostly ran for pre like president and like that actually like, had a thing for hip hop and 
R and B like Aaliyah. She had a thing for R and B. She sure did. Mm -hmm. And um, it's sad that she died. Yes, in the plane crash. Mm -hmm. That's right, hon. Well, you're really passionate about what you do, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, because you even got your words like you're so excited just to kind of get it all out, <laughs> you know? Um, there's a little baby picture that I know. I try to catch as much as I can, but there was a little baby picture I wanted to show here. Okay, guys, a uh, little tiny one. How uh, old was she here, Siobhan? Eleven months. Eleven months? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that beautiful smile. <laughs> now there's also another picture of her when she is now doing her. Now this is, this is what, what is it wow. that you <laughs> seen with your daughter when you look, when you see that little baby and you see her now, that's a part of her marketing kit. Mm -hmm. What is it that you see? Now I see uh, the potential that she has to continue doing what she loves. Right. Uh, it was an extracurricular activity at first because mm -hmm. she had other interests to do things that I wasn't able to um, nurture her. Right. What, 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 what were the she other She wanted ones? to be a baker, uh, okay. work at Little Caesars because she loves pizza. Oh, okay. Uh, that's that, right. That's right. That's right. She does. She's she does. not old enough to work at. So mm -hmm. those two things couldn't work with where she could um, get better at. But then okay. she wanted to be a mm -hmm. DJ and then I thought that was cute. But then I said, okay, I'll get you the turntable and then... Uh, it turned into a lot of other things where I had to buy the laptop, the You only thought equipment. that it, you only thought it was one thing. Yeah, there was a bunch of things <laughs> that I had to collaborate with right. the whole set. So we're here now. Wow. But now, being a... I'm going to come to you for a second, honey, because okay. you've got other three segments. <laughs> but, um, Siobhan, being a mom, okay, you put all that together. Wasn't you, weren't you worried about expense? We said, no, we can't afford it. Yeah. July, like, hello. Like, sound it equipment in, is not cheap. Yeah, it came in pieces. I'm very... Resourceful. Right. I utilize uh, the resources around me, like Let Go, Kijiji, Hand Me Downs, Good. Amazon. Yeah, ha secondhand things. Good. I, I call a lot of my friends that are in the industry mm -hmm. to ask them for some direction on how I can help her. A lot of my friends are in different pockets of their career where music is concerned. So right. I was able to outsource some of the stuff that awesome. she has now. And even Longham Equator is really great. Yes, their it rentals. is. Because they have a, a use section. Exactly. That's right. Rentals. That's right. So I'm learning. I'm learning. That's right. What kind of microphone do you use? Um, I have two. Okay. A corded microphone and a wireless microphone. Do but you know? I sure is the brand. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, um, <laughs> but I use the wireless microphone mostly for my performances. But if I don't have like the wireless microphone on me, then I then I'll like use the corded one, just for like announcing and. All that stuff, like the emceeing and stuff. So why do you like the wireless? Because like you can actually walk around and like talk and stuff. But like when you're like corded, like when it's corded, you have to like just stay in that one area and like know your boundaries of, of like where you're going and stuff. Wow. So how big is that performance when you're doing? Like how big is it? Because you do different performances, right? Yeah. The biggest performance that I did was Kids Fest because I remember like. Two years ago, I performed in front of like a 25, 50,000 people Sorry, crowd. Sorry, was that number by me again? Um, 2,500. 2,500. Wow. <laughs> Holy shoot. Now, why is it important that that's a huge number for such a young, young girl? Well, like, before I went on stage, I was like nervous. I, like, I was shaking. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Because, like, I didn't, because I didn't have my equipment. And, like, we had to borrow each, like, borrow other people's stuff. And, like, right. I had a feeling that it wasn't going to work out until I realized it worked. Yes. Yes. People were coming on stage. They were dancing. They mm -hmm. were, like, everybody was happy. They were having a good time at Kids Fest, so. Awesome, honey. Why is it important, sweetheart, for you to interact with your audience as a performer? Because I think, I think that it's good because, like, you're technically like giving the crowd your energy and like how you want them to feel and like making them have a better experience about what you did and how you did it. Right. And like at least you're interacting with the crowd. That's called um crowd control. Yeah. No. Yeah, crowd control. <laughs> What's it called? Crowd control. Wow, I just learned something new being a performer myself. No, <laughs> never heard of that. Okay, that's why I love it, because I'm always learning something new. Um, why did you choose rap, hon? Because you're good. Because I personally, I, honest to God, Siobhan, July, I really didn't like rap. I really didn't, because I found there's a lot of derogatory stuff that's used in oh, it, and of course. I tune it out. But when I heard Pretty Girl Here July, and her music, which we're all going to hear, is why did you choose rap to be your genre to use? Well... At first, I wanted to become a singer because my mom's friend Donovan, 
Um, she, he gave me two beats because I, cause I kept asking, when are you going to bring the beats? When are you going to do this? And then when I went to the studio with my godfather, Dale, um, that's when um, like he did, like me and him, we wrote some stuff together. And then I realized that I was actually rapping, not singing. <laughs> <laughs> So then that's when I realized that it was actually rap that I was doing, not exactly singing. But then when it came to the song, Can You See Me, yes. it was a mixture between the two, rapping and singing. So I technically did both in the song. Holy shit. How proud are you, hon, of this? Because I've done shows like this before with the beautiful children sitting beside their parents or their mom. Or Why, what is it that you, you're so proud of with your daughter, sweetheart? Right. Um, her endurance, her wanting to do it, because a lot of times um, things get misconstrued, because I use a lot of social media to display her talent, and sometimes it gets misconstrued that I might be living through her. Um, Ooh, and that's honest for you to say. For me, it's not, because I, I played an instrument growing up. Yes. I played the piano by ear, um, and I never really pursued it all the way with getting into like playing it professionally. Right. And um, with her, her instrument is rapping now and using her DJ controller so I wanted to support her in that because I didn't get the opportunity because I'm a child of five siblings so right. it was hard for just one to go through with an extracurricular activity without the other right so I now that she's my only child I was able to support her with it and see that she finds something that she loves to do and see where it goes she's your precious gem yeah <laughs> yes, she is hon. she is how do you balance like with school July. Like it's kind of hard. How do you balance it? Tell you there's a lot of artists out there. There's a lot of people that are doing what you're doing. How well, do you balance it? I remember sometimes, like today, I really had to skip school to come here, <laughs> and that was kind of hard because I didn't tell my teacher that I was leaving school okay. and not coming back oh. on Monday. Okay. So she. I'm going back to school Tuesday. Yes. But exactly, it's kind of hard because some gigs might land on a day and like in the morning because right. I remember I had to do like a school gig with right. my aunt Karen, and I had to skip school for that. And like it's mostly like hard, like balancing school and my music. Right. It's like hard. it's like I have to like do an equal balance, but That's like yeah. I find it kind of hard because I want to take my music serious, but I want to take my school serious too. Like. You I got it. Like I want to be like a good student in class. Like, you, like I don't want to be skipping school, but then that's kind of hard because. Don't you dare. <laughs> and on that note, you're coming back, okay? All right, to the next segment, all right? Thank you, Siobhan. Yeah. We'll be right back, guys. This is great. Back to Future Prospects. We're here with July and one of her good friends that's part of her performance team, Fortnite. So here we go. Welcome, Justice. Welcome, Hi. honey. Hi. Welcome, sweetheart. And welcome, July, again. Welcome, sweetheart. Well, so this is all about you and your beautiful relationship with this beautiful lady. So I'm going to start off with you. Can you tell the viewers who you are, what school you go to, how old you are? And I'm right here, honey. You gotta look at me here. Oh, okay. okay. That's okay. So, That's all right, sweetheart. My name is Justice. Yes. Uh, I go to McLeod's Landing Public School. Okay. And I'm 11 years old. Okay. So how did you get to meet July? How did you both meet up? Uh, so my mom booked her as a DJ for my 10th birthday. Okay. And after that, she did one of my cousin's birthday and birthdays. And after that, me and her automatically started talking. We were get, being friends, we were like getting to know each other. And one day, uh, my mom came up to me and said that July had a song, a new song in Fortnite. Right. And she showed me it and she asked me if I wanted to feature on it. Okay. So I said, yeah, of course. And I wrote down a couple of lines and my mom said that it was really good and I should do it a lot. So now I'm here, yes. where I just came back from a trip with the group. Right. We were at Sault Ste. Marie. That was a pretty good trip. Uh, the drive was long. Yeah, it was, I bet. Yep. Six, and, hours. Six hours? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, honey. But it was a fun drive. It was a fun experience. Good. And now we're here. Okay. Now, you're a rapper, right? Not a performer? Yes. Okay. Both. Both. You're both? Yeah. Okay. All I right. rap and I dance. All right. So now, when you had to audition, what did you think of his audition, July, when he tried out? When he actually tried out? Yeah, when he actually tried out, July. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he tried out, I, I already knew that he was going to make it, like, when I heard him spit his verse, like, I already knew that he was going to make it. How? Like, How did you know? Um. um. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with you guys here. Come on, I can't have fun. I actually have a thing for music, so I know what, like, I know what something, when something's, like, when something sounds good, and That's then, right. like, when something's, like, okay, That's you right. can work on it. Mm -hmm. But when I, but when I actually heard his verse, like, I'm, like, he's going to make the audition. I already knew it. Wow. And either way, me and him has been friends for a long time. So. How long? Like so a good two years. Two no, like years. three years now. Yeah. Okay, two. Yeah, okay. Three All right. years. Yeah. Okay. All right. How is it like having her being the leader and you've got to listen to what she says? How is she like to work with any of you? Uh, you can look at me, Justice. <laughs> I, would, I would say that it's more of like not she, leadership, more of like a group task type thing. Like okay. it's a. Like, we listen to each other. If, nice. If one of us, like, if one of us are doing something that we shouldn't be doing, we correct each other. Wow. We make sure that we're always on point and we're always staying on task and focused. So I would say that it's not leadership. It's more of like a group type of situation. Team. Yeah, it's like a team. Beautiful. Boy, you guys should run for... Uh government. You do you teach our government a lot of things about <laughs> listening and working together. And I say that wholeheartedly. We got a couple of pictures that I want to show up. All right, sweetheart? So we're going to show the first one here. Now, where were you here? Tell us this, guys. Where were um, you well, Anyone can say. Go we, for it. We were at um, the Jump Start. Jump Start. Oh, okay. Is that the Canadian Tire? Yep. Okay. All right. The Canadian Tire Jump Start. What we're doing is um, also teaching the kids about like, he was teaching the kids, like, the Fortnite dance moves and all that. Okay. And I was mostly playing the music. And then at the end of the, at the end of the day, like, at the end of the gig, we did the Fortnite performance. We signed, like, most of the kids' T-shirts with our autographs. Oh, yeah. Nice. How did that feel, Jessica? How did that feel like, being a celebrity? Like, yeah, I felt like I was maybe, like, more, I, I was... You felt good? Yeah, I felt... Important. I felt known. I felt special. Nice. Why is it important, handsome, to feel special? Uh, well, As a young person, how does it, what, why is it so important? Well, I feel like everybody needs their, not needs, but like more wants, their one moment to shine, their one moment to be in the spotlight, and that was my one moment to be in the spotlight. Beautiful. How were the children? Very well said, sweetheart. Very well said. How is it like, both of you now, to uh, perform, giving back to all those young people with your music, Jenna? How does it feel? It feels actually exciting because, like, at the end of the day, at least, like, they'll remember me. Yes. And, like, they won't forget, like, if I do it once, then they won't forget, like, I have to, like, do it, like, actually, like, two more times just so then they remember who I am what I do and beautiful and you're so young how old are you pretty girl I'm 10 years old I'm 10 years old turning 11 this year gosh wow isn't it isn't it important for us to listen to you as young people with your talent I like that it is are we going to follow up on that because I got one more picture all right because right. I know July is mom and everybody okay so one more picture please guys okay now you just came oh. back from this so what yes. was going down here justice can you share with me what was this all about uh so this event uh, we we traveled a long journey, as I just said. Where did you go? Sault Ste. Marie. Okay, all right. From where? Where did you? Where do you? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Richmond Hill. Okay, so that's a bit of a drive. Yeah, but okay. we met up. Well, we all met up at like Pickering. like Scarborough Pickering. Okay. Pickering, yeah. and then we had to go and get um, another dancer in Oshawa, and then go drive. Wow. So did you fall asleep? We all did. Uh, yeah. We, we all <laughs> no. did. We were all slumped. <laughs> Oh like, I was, like, I was in the backseat, like, all sleeping, like, we were all sleeping. Wow. Now, is this your first largest tour on the road? 
Actually, I've been, I've driven, I've driven to New York. Wow, awesome. So how was it like? Did you, did you have to do sound check? What's it like? Because performance. Well, we have to do, we have to do sound check. That's for sure. Um, at the at the beginning of the show, um, we didn't bring our equipment. That's a, that's the bad part. It's where it starts getting bad. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's called challenges. You're like, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, <laughs> I, I brought my laptop with me. That's okay. for sure. But then. We, I mostly did it with my controller, right. but we didn't bring it. Oh. And the person that actually got us the gig, he, he didn't know that we needed the controllers to actually DJ, and that's when I'm like, oh no, I can't do this. I can't, I can't. <laughs> so how did you get through, how did you guys get through it? Well, I actually had to like do the aux, like I had the aux in from my laptop to the speaker, and then I just had to DJ off my laptop. So how was the attitude? Did anybody get down like just this? Did you get down and go, oh my God, this is not going to happen? Like, how did you hang in there positively? Like, I was just, um, well, the first part of the drive, I was hungry. Okay, all right, go back everybody to the was, okay. Yeah, everybody and was. Everybody was hungry. When we got there, uh, it was more like of getting settled in first and then like worrying about how we were going to produce the music, right. produce the sound, right? like do all the um, types of games like freeze dance, mm -hmm. the competition. Setting and all yourself that. up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I want to ask you something because this is your segment now. I'm going to ask you because then you're going to come back. Okay. Why is it important for us to respect and listen to your dreams as young people? Um, I feel like that is important because we, uh, I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not trying to be like... Just be yourself on my okay. show, sweetheart. I feel like um, as young people, yes. we want to be able to do a lot of things. We have a lot of big dreams. And I feel like our parents, the adults, our caregivers are like supposed to, not supposed to, but should be able to maintain and take care of are um, the responsibilities as being a caregiver. Yes. And we should be able to take care of ourselves and be able to maintain our responsibility as children and like young adults, That's young right. teens. And we, sh um, and we think we, most, I, I yes, think I that um, we should be able to do lots of things. Yes. But we're not allowed to because we're too young, obviously. Okay. And I feel like we have a lot of rights, especially in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's like a really good type of government country. That's right. And I feel like you should be able, um, us, like children, kids, teens, we, sh um, we should be able to like, be Ex like, Explore. Explore. Right. Sweetheart. Imagine our dreams. Yes. Be able to live out our dreams and like do what you want to do. Yeah. Imagine. Why is it it's important for imagination, July? Like your imagination, like letting your mind just do what you think. Like just think outside the box. Well, for me exactly. Yes. You, hun. Well, because I'm an artist, I have like a different kind of mind frame. Okay. So, like me as imagining like what my art can do to people, what they can like inspire people, inspire people to do, and like, like I want my artwork to actually be out there, like the same way how how my music is. Mm -hmm. So, me and my thing of imagining, because I have these shoes that I made. Yes, we're gonna exactly. get a picture of those before you leave. Um, <laughs> me imagining is like me thinking outside the box because like. When it comes to me, I'll think about like things that can put me in a good mood to like continue the rest of my day. But like if I'm not thinking outside the box, like it'll just like capture my day and then like I won't have like a better mind frame about like what I'm gonna do and what right. I'm not gonna do. Right. So mostly I like thinking outside the box because it can cause when once I think outside the box, it can actually inspire myself to do, actually do stuff. That's right. So embracing all the different things, and Justice is just agreeing there. Now, how is it that you handle school with all this performing, rapping? How do you handle school? Like, uh, I just try to be able to get time for writing, rapping, mm -hmm. and 
studying and I try to sometimes I try to mix them together like I take one hour to write and one hour to study for school okay. and I like to try to be on top of my grades good and I like my grades have kind of gone lower as okay. I began rapping but I feel like I want I want to raise them a bit higher yes so that I could stay in this group and maintain my grades because yes. school over everything. So why is it important to maintain your grades, Jesus? Uh, I feel like if you aren't like being doing good in school, right. like you don't have good grades, if you fail or like don't make it to the next grade, right. you might like that goes on your record. And right. for job, if you want to get a certain job when you're older, you would have to like work around it because that would be on your record and they would know like your how you did in school right from your like the just looking back it yeah. sets up a road map for you yeah right like, honey yeah who's your, who's your strongest mentors in your life who keeps you in the game i Shall would I? say <laughs> <laughs> me? look at me 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 yeah but who, who keeps you in the game pretty yeah. I would say my mom your and mom? my brother. Your mom and your brother? Those are my two most, like, biggest caregivers and the inspirations. You. Yeah. Beautiful. Same thing with you, July? I would say my mom and um, my godfather and my other godfather. Because my godfather, they both rap. Yes. And then my other godfather, he DJ. So that's how I actually started DJing at awesome, first. Awesome, honey. I'm always going to get you at this. I know you're coming back. Justice, you're a blessing. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, hon. We'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Future Prospects. I am enjoying this because I am interviewing our Future Prospects musical youth. And with no further ado, we are going to welcome to our third segment, Jaden, Jaden, sorry, Jaden, Jaden, Aisha, yeah. and welcome back July. Welcome, sweetheart. So welcome, guys. You excited to be on? Yes. 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 Love it, honey. So. I know we just introduced Justice, but I know you're part of Fortnite. Yes. Okay, so how is it, Jaden? I'm gonna no, I'll just start with the ladies first. I'm sorry, Aisha. How did you get to meet this beautiful lady? Well, me and July used to. Well, we used to dance together. We still do, but we used to go to dance classes together. And um, what kind of dance classes, honey? Hip hop and hip -hop? Afrobeat. Okay. And um, she told she told her mom that she wanted to become a DJ, and um, I guess. She um, she came up with the idea with the group, and I guess I auditioned, okay. and I guess I got it. Awesome, honey. So how old are you, pretty girl? Thirteen. Thirteen, and what school do you go to? I go to Stephen Saywell Public School in Oshawa. Okay, that's a shout-out to the school. Right? That's a shout-out to the school, okay. Do you love working with July? Yeah, I love it. It just, she's, like, so nice, and she, her energy is just amazing. Wow, that's good. See, honey? You're a good boss, July. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, handsome, your time. So who are you? Hi, my name is Jaden. Yes. I am 12 years old, and I am from Toronto. Okay, what school do you go to? Here? I go to St. Elizabeth Seton, okay. a Catholic school in Pickering. Oh, wow, okay. So how did you get to meet this beautiful lady, July? Well, I've known her almost my whole life, because we're like family. Okay. <laughs> and um, I heard that she was doing um, like DJing now, right. and I heard her songs and I thought they were good. And then she asked me to audition for a group, and I said yes, and it was and it turned out well, and now here I am. Awesome, hon. Now I'm going to swing it back over to your friend and boss, friend slash boss, okay? How were they both for auditions? How were they? Tell us. Well, when it came to Jaden and his dancing, I already, like, I have a thing for dancing, like, I do it too. I can tell. Yes. <laughs> I know, I mean. <laughs> so, um, when Jaden was dancing, like, he's a really good dancer. I already know that for a fact. Like, okay. he can dance for like 20 minutes. 
What? Like even longer. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Okay. It was a video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Continue, sweetie. So once I realized that Jaden was actually like a really good dancer, I'm like, he's the one, he's a he's a backup dancer. Yes. I already knew. Okay. All right. And Just me and me and Jaden, we knew each other for like our whole entire life. Like like me and me and Jaden are, are like related. We're both cousins. Because yes. my my cousin Jade, we're family, mm -hmm. we're all family. So, um, I, so me and Jaden have mostly known each other for like whole entire life. Exactly. Yes. Wow. So how was it like being under with family, being in a group, Jaden? Um, it's good. It gives us more of a bond, and okay. it's just we go on a journey, and we're doing great things. Oh, and it's cool. all as a family. Good for you, sweetheart. Now, Aisha, how was her auditioning? We can't leave Aisha out. How was her auditioning? Like, <laughs> well, me and Aisha do dance class together. So. Okay. And that, that dance class is hip hop, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hip hop all right. and Afro beats. Afro beats? Yeah. What's Afro beats? Like um, Afro, soca, and all those things. Like, okay, soca, I know. What's you know that? DeVito? Sorry? DeVito? No. No. Sorry, I, I, no, no, I'm learning as <laughs> <laughs> You have to educate me. So, okay, so there's a certain So Afrobeat is like, um, like a kind of reggae, but yeah. like hip hop, kind of like mixture. Mixed together. Yeah. yeah. Because in my days, we just call it strictly reggae, right? Like Marvin Gaye or, um, what's the other one? Oh my gosh, from Jamaica. Oh my gosh. Bob Marley. Bob like Marley. all stuff like that. That's how we call it, but you mix it together. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Asia, we are both good in the Afro beats, but when it came to hip hop, we we are all good at hip hop because, you know, hip hop is actually our culture nowadays. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> ever since like me and Asia have been doing dance class together, I realized that me and her have had like a stronger bond. And um, once like same thing with Justice, like once she joined the dance group, I already knew. Okay. Because me and her danced together for like. Four years, I guess. Three? No, three. Three. Yeah. Three years. Three years. Wow, that's amazing. And who choreographs? Who does um, that? Um, my cousin Deshawn. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So now, do you all meet together? Yes. How many times a week? Two times a week. Two times a week. A lot. A lot. Is yeah. that a lot? Yeah. <laughs> so, hours. Okay. How many? Like hours. We do like, like dance. Three, three to four hours of dance. Wow. Depends how long we have yeah. the place for. Oh, so you rent a place and you go to Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you meet two times a week for three to four hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, how is it? Now, I already asked Justice this. How do you both balance, balance school? So it's two times a week, three to four hours a week. How do you handle school and all that? Well, usually after school, sometimes my mom tells me, like, you have dance, and I guess. Sometimes Siobhan picks me up or I take the bus. Right. And um, after school. Right. And um, I just go to dance and after my mom picks me up after right. dance. And okay. After I go home. Yeah. All right. How about you then, Mila? Um, so I'm usually Siobhan always picks me up. Yes. And then, um, yeah. And then my mom comes for me when it's done. Okay. Now, do you love performing with? July? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Give me some hints about it. Come on. Share with share with the viewers why you love performing. Because um it gives us more of a platform. People know us more. Yeah. And we get to be seen more. And then people will notice us when we're at other parties because okay. they might have been at the previous one. Now does the young people come up to you when you perform? Yeah. Okay, what do they say? Sometimes recently in Sault Ste. Marie. Um, like like we had like like we had like a line of people like just ready to take pictures. Yeah, they wanted pictures. <sighs> Yeah, so excited. How did you feel though? How did you feel? It was like overwhelming, like we were exciting. It was <laughs> exciting. Now did you have your Sharpies ready to sign or? No, 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 we didn't, we didn't sign t-shirts that time. We took pictures. Yeah. We took pictures. Some pictures. What kind of questions do they ask when they come up, right? You're on stage, you're young, you're performing, you come down, you're meeting them on their level now. You're not on stage anymore, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of questions do they ask you? Like I know what mostly, I ask. Mostly before. they ask me like, is it hard becoming, is it hard being a DJ? And what's your reply? Um, I mostly say practice makes perfect. Okay. And um, it's not as hard because I do it, I do it actually a lot. Okay, how about you, Jess? Well, 
usually at um, um, Sault Ste. Marie, um, they asked us, um, like, how did you come up with the dance moves? And usually how we do it is we freestyle, and after we just, like, see which moves is, like, the best fits in with the song, and after we come up with the choreography. Okay. Now, when you say freestyle, yeah. Okay, educate us on that. Like, for example, we ask for a song. Right. And then after we just dance to it. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So you put your own moves to it? Yeah. So it's not choreographed or anything? Oh, that's cool. Oh my. Do you ever get nervous when you're up there, Jane? No, because the music just comes to me. Yeah. I yeah. just dance and it makes me like get away from the crowd because I just imagine they're not there. Beautiful. I've seen you perform. I've seen you because I think you performed at an event that I was at. Yes. Several, too. Not with, not and you just, you performed, and all of a sudden you just broke out. You guys just started to dance and do your old thing, right? Why is it so important? Now, I've asked this, and I have to ask young people because young people are asking, because they're saying they're young, they're doing it, they're enjoying it. Why is it important to embrace what you love to do, Asia? Why? Um, because... It just makes me like happy. I love doing dancing. I enjoy it a lot, and it just makes me happy. Okay, you do know, honey, because you're doing it, right? You do. So who supports you through all of this? Um, people that support me is mostly my mom and my sister. Right. They always tell me that I can do it, okay. and like even if sometimes I tell myself like this looks bad, my mom's like, you, it's good. Like it's actually really good. I'm like, no, it's not. Like it's really bad, but she's like, it's good. I'm like. Okay, okay. Awesome, honey. I'm going to come to Jaden, but I don't want to miss these pictures, okay? So can you bring up a picture for me, guys? Okay, where were you here? Why are you laughing? Um, <laughs> we just came back from dance class, and um, we just took a picture on my mom's car, the Jeep. Well, that's cool. That looks like a real rapper picture. Like, yeah. you're just cool. You're in your own zone, right? Awesome. Next one, please. Okay, who's this? That's you. That's right. At what event? Um, it was. It was an event uh, in Brampton. It was a fundraiser, right? Yes, it was a fundraiser. Building homes. And yes. Okay. Right. Um, there's Jaden. There's Jaden. Big smile. There's me, and then there's my other cousin, Shalice. Okay. Is that how you look like on the road, all dressed up like that? Um, yeah. If really? I'm, if you I'm, look like that all the time? You know, like, if I'm doing, like, a gig or, like, a uh, interview or performance, like, I'll mostly, like, wear all my DJ, all my DJ clothes and stuff. So, because right. if I'm, like, going out, like, if I'm just going out into the streets, like, I'll just wear, like, anything that, like, that I know that I could wear on the road, and it wouldn't look, like, mid match. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Now, my love, I want to ask you, all right? So, why is it important? Okay, because I asked Asian, I've got to give you the platform too. Why is it important to enjoy and do what you do? Because I like it, and it's always good to pursue something you love. <clears throat> okay. And if you don't pursue something you love, you're just going to do something because you, you're obligated to. Okay. But How you don't really need to. Sorry, hon? Well, you don't want to do something that you don't want to do because then you're not, can you feel like you're obligated to do right. it? Right. Is there any part of it where you look at is there any platforms like you know with all the the bullying and the stuff that happens in the school and all the negative stuff when we talked about this off camera would you like to embrace that audience with your music like have you ever been asked to well, do anything for bullying week or mental health well, week or I already made a song called keep your head up yes which is um, the remix to keep your head up by Tupac okay and we took the big papa flow from Biggie okay so then after that um, we did it on the Big Papa beat first, and then I realized that it actually mixed in. So then after that, we like we turned it into a positive song because I came home because I had a bad day at school, like something happened, and um, I wasn't in a good mood. So then I told my mom the story what happened at school, and then we both wrote the song "Keep Your Head Up," and then we put it on the Tupac beat. Awesome, honey. Awesome. We gotta go. We only got one meet, but I know you're gonna be coming back with your mom. One quick word to our viewers in Nan Crapper camera. One quick word. What would you like to say to the viewers? One quick word. Um, follow your dreams and don't, whatever, if anybody says anything, don't make it like, don't listen to them. Just follow your dreams and yeah. Awesome. Jaden? Um, know who you are as a person. Um, continue to do whatever you're doing if it makes you happy and don't stop doing what you love. 
Thank you so much. On that note, you're a blessing. All the best to you and everything. And love yourself and everything, Thank okay? You. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're yeah. welcome, sweetheart. Love you. Okay? We'll be right back. future prospects guys I'm having a ball and we have gracing our beautiful studio again is Siobhan and July you know something I really enjoyed it with your friends I enjoyed it with your mom gracing the stage but I also enjoyed it with your friends listening to them talking about you you create such a positive environment to be part of your group which is crucial right um, I love the way Jaden explained it and justice, how you just create that positivity, everybody works together as a team. Well, you guys should probably run for government. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know something, sweetheart? I thank you for that. But now it's all about you. So we've covered everything about your journey, your group, Fortnite, and uh, things like that. How did that name come about? Um, this? Yes. Well, it mostly came from the game. As you can see, like, these are all like the stuff that, w that was in the game. Right. So mostly we made the merch because the song Fortnite, exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Because that song, because the video, it was a very good video until something bad happened. It's a popular video game. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we shot we, it at the CNE. Kids were all over the place. At the end it, of the night, was, our cell phones funny. were dead, and kids were with adults, but we couldn't contact them because yes. our phones were dead, so and we then, lost a child, but found them back. So. <laughs> but then um, okay. something bad happened with the video. But it got deleted by accident. I deleted it by accident. But it got re-uploaded. But, yeah. but, but the video before, it had 19,000 views. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You're not messing around. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you mom a platform for a little minute here, right? Okay. You're a single mom, Siobhan. Yes. All right, sweetheart, and a beautiful Thank you. woman you are. Because you're actually introducing the world to an up-and-coming rapper and performer who is passionate. Mm -hmm. But what is it like now for disciplining, keeping focus academically, you're her manager, you're everything behind the scenes. What is it like, my love, doing it all? What is your message? Share it. It, it's possible. You can do it. You yes. can do it. You could definitely do it. I have a lot of support outside of me being a single parent. Yes. Uh, she has a director. She has a producer. She has a road manager now. So we all collectively come together for right. the the better of every child involved. Okay. So at first it was hard doing it by myself when she started off as a DJ, getting all the equipment. The financial part was hard, but the support came easier once people saw what she was doing. It gravitated that we had a lot of people watching our, our videos that we would post, and then that's where the support came. Right, wow. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna, what is it, I'm gonna ask you, my love, okay? What is your next chapter, my love, and what you wanna do with your music? Well, what I wanna do with my, mu with, with my music, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I want to have a bigger profile. How are you gonna do that? Um, make more music, put more songs out. Um, make more videos, exactly. Um, are you writing a lot of songs right now? Are you mm -hmm. putting together? Um, the next album, that my next EP and album that's coming out is this year on my birthday, May 30th. So that's going to be very exciting. So, well, and what's the name I, of that album? On My Own. On My Own. Why On Your Own? Because, on My Own. Why that? Cause Why that title? Because mostly I wrote most of the songs on my own. And um, mostly when my mom, when, when my mom was there, um, my dad wasn't exactly. So I, I made a song call on my own, which is talking about my dad not being there and all this and that. And um, so then that's when I named the album actually on my own, so. Wow. What makes you so tough? I'm saying that in a positive way. Like you can tell that you are strong inside but when you speak, you speak with affirmation and belief in yourself. Where does that come from, pretty girl? Um, it mostly comes from my mom. <laughs> my mom, exactly, because um, seeing her struggle and like mostly making me tough because seeing that my dad wasn't there for like most of my life. So that's what mostly makes me tough on the outside. But like 
but like soft on the inside, mm -hmm. technically. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? I see myself, exactly. What do you see? <laughs> Where do you see? What, what do you see? I know you see yourself, because you're gorgeous, but what do you see? Um, what do you imagine yourself? I imagine myself being the best DJ that I could be, and um, Toronto's youngest DJ. I mean, Toronto's, Toronto's youngest DJ and um, artist. You got it, sweetheart. And how are you going to get there? How are you going to keep this strong? How are you going to keep the mental mind strong? By thinking outside the box and, and keep believing, believing in myself. OK. Now, there was some, I'm going to ask your mom something, too. But there was something that we shared off camera. Yeah. And you said, Joy, I forgot to say something. Oh, yes. So be yourself when you're on Future Prospects. Just go for it. Well, mostly it's about school, because um, if I wasn't thinking out the box, then my grades wouldn't have been that good. See? If I wasn't thinking about outside the box for art, then I wouldn't have got an A minus. Wow. So why is it important for young people to keep focused? Cause um, it helps like it helps like um, like them think straight and like help them like think about what they're supposed to do and gotcha. like what to believe in and what not to do. Gotcha. Do you ever get knocked sometimes by your friends? Do you ever get knocked or challenged? But oh, you ain't gonna make it. What kind of music is that? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. So how do you deal with that, pretty girl? Mostly I ignore them, and um, I keep doing it what I believe in. You got it. You got it. All right. What do you see in your daughter, sweetheart? What do you see, Siobhan? Because you, when I see you, you're a giant. You, when you, literally, when you're at events, like, you're everywhere. <laughs> like, you're doing this, you're doing that. Like, what do you see in your pretty girl, hon? I see myself um, and just the support that I didn't have. So now I'm just filling that void in with other people if I don't fit the, the criteria. Because I'm not very educated in the music industry. Right, well, you could have fooled me. Right? <laughs> but <laughs> I fill in me. the spots that you know, w would cost me money to do, hiring right. a photographer, um, having the right vehicle to, to you know, move all the equipment around. Right. Just making smart decisions that are going to pave the way for the future of the group and herself. When you talk to parents, do you ever get challenged by other parents? All the time. So how do you deal with it now? Because um, other parents are going to be looking at you right now. And it's all about putting out a positive message, and the message is in the music. So once they see that she really wants to do it, and the kids gravitate towards it, and every parent wants to you know, fulfill their kids' dreams, if, even if it means supporting other parents that are doing something with kids mm -hmm. in extracurricular activities. Yeah. Do you beat up on yourself sometimes? You don't feel like you're doing enough? Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. I do. But well, you, well, then you I do look, a lot. I look, I look back on social media and you really do a, lot, a year yeah. ago today we were not where we are right now. But is that wrong? Is that good or bad? Talk to us. I think it's a mind. good thing because it keeps me going yes. and it keeps me motivated and she also motivates me too like when I when I don't want to do this <laughs> she, she displays a lot of um, talent in the area so it's hard yes. to say no that's right so naturally I get talked into doing things that are not in my job criteria <laughs> who talks you into them yeah she does that's how she challenges mom yeah. so what's been happening in the last couple of in the year that you're proud of that you love through um, all those ups and downs. Just her, keep, just her keeping a positive attitude, wanting to still continue doing it, and it's open to other doors for her and, and the group of kids as well. So they're going to be going on tour this year, uh, 22 cities in Ontario. Wow. And um, back, back up here for a second. Slow down for a second. Say that again. Sorry. No, no, no. Don't sorry. Oh. <laughs> don't sorry. Just me. Go ahead. Say that again. So they're now set for tour dates in Ontario, 22 cities. 22 cities. Look at her eyes looking yeah. up in the eyebrows. <laughs> Love those so. brows, by the way. But anyway, 22 cities? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. So we just came back from Sault Ste. Marie, right. as they said earlier, and they're set to go out into different cities in Ontario, Winnipeg, Calgary, Ottawa, Montreal. So they have a busy year ahead. And this is all happening after school in June. So I like the way you said they're that. going on tour in July <laughs> with July. Wow. Yeah. So now, through all those ups and downs, what has it taught you? Again, this is a show of a message, giving, you know, teaching mm -hmm. them, right? Um, it's taught me to not give up on even in the, the times that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm running around as you see me at these events, but um, the outcome 
the photos that we have, the memories that we have, um, we have forever. And they, they love what they do. So yes. to, to stop now would be like inhumane. <laughs> yes. So they keep us going. Okay. And the parents enjoy it as well. That full support mm -hmm. on that side mm -hmm. too. What did you love about your mom, Siobhan? Joy. I mean, still I. Sorry, honey. Sorry, I got so caught up in you. Thank you for correcting me. But I get so caught up in the conversations. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. I just get just drowned in it. Mm -hmm. That was so for the heart, hon. What is it you love about your mom, July? Well, what I love about my mom yes, is honey. that she's very supportive. Um, she's a very loving, caring mom. And like, if like I want to do something, like she'll be like the first person to like get all the stuff. And like help me and like help me practice more and like do all this and like do all this stuff. Like if like if I didn't tell her that I wanted to be a DJ, this would have never happened. Wow. So why is it important now for youth to share the most craziest things with their parents? With us? Oh no, no, they wouldn't like that because not saying academics is not important and you have to understand what I'm saying. But things just like get outside the box. Mom, I got a great idea. What do you think? Why is it important just to, just to share it with them? Because you're um, actually c communicating with your parent, and like, what if like your parents say yes with um, what you're telling them? Like, what if they agree? So mostly, if you don't have like a good feeling about what you're saying, at least try it first. But if they say no, then at least you still tried and like not keeping it inside about what you want to say and what you didn't say. That's so important. Eh? Oh my God, this is amazing. I know I'm gonna have you guys back. I know. <laughs> I know we are. Thank you so much, sweetheart. We're going to share the song that you are coming out, right? You know, we're going to come back with, there's a song that you wrote, real quickly before we go. There's a song that you wrote, well, how does it go? Sing it to me. Wake up in the morning. Can, can you see me? me? I have to get my word in there. Okay, oh. why did you write that song? Real quick, why did you write that song? I mostly wrote the song about her on her phone. Yes. And not, and not like, I say it's like not paying attention to like what like what I'm doing, but like when it comes to like her phone, it's kind of like a good thing at the same time because that's what actually like helps her and makes her money and stuff. Right. So, but I mostly made the song about it because um, she's mostly playing Candy Crush on Instagram, watching reality shows and stuff. So. Um, awesome. I wrote the song because I knew it would have had like like a good how do you say it, like a good influence on kids and about like everything, like about what they do. Got you, honey. Are and like about what the parents do on their phones and stuff. Awesome. So I mostly wrote the song about. I know. Um, I know you want to share some more. <laughs> We're going to hear it. I know it goes so fast. Thank you again. Thank you again, sweetheart. You can hear it, guy. It's going to be Can You See Me? It's going to be my ending song on the show. Thank you for watching. Mom, is that too much? I just want to take a trip. I think you work too much. What about a pit bull? Would that cost too much? I just want you in my life more. Ain't that enough? Wake up in the morning. Can you see me? I'll wake up in the morning. 